it rains methane on Saturn's moon Titan, and hot sulfuric acid rains on Venus. But none of those phenomena are as extremely rare as the WASP-76b, an ultra-hot planet approximately 640 light-years from Earth. When day turns to night on the distant planet, something weird happens. It rains molten iron. WASP-76b is what astronomers call an exoplanet, one that orbits a star outside our solar system. Scientists have discovered that the local weather conditions include 3,800 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures and wind speed reaching up to 10,000 miles per hour. WASP-76b is tidally locked, only ever showing one side to its parent star, the same way the Moon only ever shows one side to the Earth. Essentially, the side that faces the star is battered by radiation, sending temperatures skyrocketing above 3,800 degrees Fahrenheit and vaporizing metals like iron. The planet's ferocious winds carried that to the night side, where temperatures are 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. The observations of the distant planet's unusually hostile climate are the first results from a new instrument on the Very Large Telescope in Chile which astronomers say will transform our view of worlds far from beyond our own solar system. WASP-76b, which is 640 light-years away in the constellation of Pisces, is an ultra-hot gas giant. It orbits its star at about 3% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun, resulting in scorching surface temperatures and the weird phenomenon of molten iron falling from the sky. It's a kind of world we can't imagine easily because we don't have anything like that in our solar system," said Christoph Lavis, an exoplanet researcher at the University of Geneva. On the day side, which is 1,000 degrees hotter, molecules separate into atoms and iron evaporates into the atmosphere to form metallic clouds. The extreme temperature difference between the day and night sides produces ferocious winds that carry the iron vapor to the cooler night side where temperatures decrease to about 1,500 degrees, and the iron condenses and falls as rain that constantly peppers the planet's gas surface and vanishes beneath it. One could say that this planet gets rainy in the evening, except it rains iron, said the lead author in the study. The observations came from a new instrument, known as Espresso, that was originally designed to hunt for Earth-like planets around Sun-like stars. It does this by spotting the dip in starlight that occurs as a planet sails across the face of the star. For giant planets that are very close to their home star, detecting these transits is an easier task as they block out more light. Scientists have now moved on to more refined observations that look not only at the dip in intensity, but how the spectrum of the light is shifted, which can reveal what gases are present in the planet's atmosphere. The latest observations go one step further and compare the gases present in the leading edge of the planet as it passes across the face of the star and the trailing edge. For WASP-76b, this revealed iron vapor at the leading edge, where the prevailing 10,000 miles per hour wind would be blowing from the day side into the night side. But the signal was absent from the trailing edge, suggesting that all the iron had rained down on the night side by the time the circulating wind came back around. It was the first observation for Espresso. Researchers soon realized Espresso could do much more and combined with the powerful telescope, it could help study atmospheres of exoplanets. The wild finding helps astronomers learn more about the extreme climates of distant planets and how they might impact processes across the cosmos. This gives new insights into the enormous diversity of planets beyond our own solar system. More than 4,000 exoplanets have now been confirmed, and powerful new ground-based observatories are under construction, such as the Extremely Large Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. They are scheduled to launch next year and expected to bring astronomers closer to answering whether any of these exoplanets have the necessary conditions to support extraterrestrial life. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel 